crap. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. I'm Brett Papa, and today we are going to cover a freaking classic Van Halen tune. And I was thinking to myself, ah, what's some easy Van Halen songs that, you know, pretty much anybody could play? And I was like, oh, Little Dreamer is a good one until I tried to learn the freaking solo. Holy crap. It's it's not that it's super hard. It's just the feet. I mean, Eddie obviously has one of the most incredible feels ever. I mean, I know like world, world class guitar players that cannot get his swing feel or just in general, his playing is ridiculous, but we all know that, right? So, but this solo has so many cool little nuanced parts that even though it's hard, it's one of those solos, if you get under your belt, I think it'll really take your guitar playing to another level. Also, if you want to get better at soloing, there is a free soloing course down below. It goes over all the fundamentals on how to get better, whether it's cage, vibrato, bending, how to see the chords within the scales, all that stuff to get you a lot better on soloing guitar really quickly. Okay. So for the gear, everybody always asks me what the gears are. I'm going to leave them in the, in the links below. They're affiliate links, so if you want to help out the channel, that would be awesome. But uh, this is the Van Halen Frankenstrat. I think it's the, the higher end one, not the like high, high end one, but the higher of the Frankenstrat. I'll leave it in the links below. The other ones too, I've had all of the incarnations of the Van Halen guitars. They are all fantastic they all sound great they all play great they're amazing amazing guitars i cannot recommend them for enough and for a kind of a rock guitar they're my favorite so the head is a marshall sv20 i'm going to show you my settings here on the screen i've got the channels jumped i'm going from there into uh, universal audio aux box i'll show you my settings on that as well it's basically going into a 412 cabinet simulation and then i have a boss eq pedal that's been modified by xts here in nashville uh, they make it a little bit more guitar centric but the normal you know off the shelf boss eq will work great i've found that if you pull down the bass a little bit it kind of tightens the head up so without the eq Sounds good, right? But if you add the EQ, it adds all that like tightness. I think I had to use like a 10 band MXR EQ, if I'm not mistaken. And it's kind of a reverse curve. You want to take down the bass a little bit to tighten it up and then kind of push the middle. So it's like a, a hump, like a reverse. And then the mids are pushed up a little bit. And then I have the output of the EQ pedal up a bit. So you can hear the boost. But that really helps me kind of get closer to that tone. And then I have in post this amazing reverb uh, from IK Multimedia called Sunset Sound. I've actually recorded at Sunset Sound Studios in the room where they did Van Halen 1. And when you listen back to the guitar tracks and they put the plate reverb on, it's like, oh my God, there it is. There's that sound I've heard my whole life. That plugin freaking nails the sound so if you want to record and you want the sound and you're a huge fan of that old kind of van halen style reverb i mean they've used that reverb and those plates on thousands of hit records but it's i really can't recommend it enough again all the links are down below they're affiliate links so they help out the channel so check those out okay so for the song itself it's an e flat <laughs> okay so I think everybody's got a tuner by now so tune it to e flat okay so the lick itself is pretty easy it's like a repetitive pattern okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the low e hit that twice then you're going to go to the a string six and eight and then you're gonna come and you're gonna do a chord like that. Okay, so that chord is gonna be the eighth fret E, the eighth fret D, the eighth fret G. You're gonna mute out the A string with your second finger. So it's. Now, one of the things you wanna do is you don't want all the notes to ring together. 
So what you can do is you can release the pressure off of your finger. Right, so. And then with this hand, it can cut off any of the extra string noise. And then. Same exact thing down at the third fret. And then hit it again. When it comes down to the, the G, the, this up at the C is all kind of open and punchy. When you get down to the G, mute that first low string. Does that four times, right? So you got. Okay, so for the next part, All right, the pattern. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's like a seven and. Oh, sorry. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and that goes down to G. B, uh, B flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's always slides in between almost everything, right? So you got. Okay, so that last one, you're gonna, it's basically like a pentatonic lick. Right, it's essentially the same thing as going, but you can't do that down here, you run out of frets, so it's just going up to the minor third. This lick. Oh, good. So you bend up the fifth fret G string. So when you bend up, you release and then you pull off to the fourth fret. Okay, so it's... And then you go three on the D, three on the A, and then chromatically walk down to the second fret. Right? Or it sounds like when you really slow the track down, it sounds like he's sliding. So maybe he does it with his first finger. Right, and then back to the lick. All 
Okay, so that next part, you slide up to the G note, and then you're gonna hit harmonics on the D and G. So then it goes. So that's on the 12th fret, and then you go to the seventh fret, and then the fifth fret. Those harmonics are on the D and G strings. Okay, so and then you do the bar dive. And then back to. Now, now it goes up, keep this kind of bar chord going. You move up to G sharp. D sharp or E flat. Go straight up from there. And then you just hit the D and G open. So that whole part. Now, this lick, super cool. I haven't totally nailed it, but the but it's a great lick, right? So you go up to the G string, fifth, uh, seventh fret. So you go up and then you bar the sixth fret, B and E, and then go to the eighth fret, B and then bend up the G eighth fret. And then bar dive it, so. And then go. All right. And then it gets into the solo, I think, which is freaking just amazing. Okay, so that's basically the pattern of the, the whole rhythm pattern of the song, right? So the first part is the intro. Does that two more times, then it gets into the verse. That lick. Back into the verse again. That new part up is the fourth fret. Go down to the next set of strings, the A and the D. Back to the... Okay. You ready for this? <laughs> This is freaking so good. So. Is the first part. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the A string, slide it to the fifth fret, drop down to the third fret. 
Same pattern on the next string, but you're gonna go five to seven. Same pattern on the next string, but you're gonna go seven to nine. So it's gonna go. So one more time. And then you go hammer. And then. So you got. So on that, down to the fourth fret, and then bend up with your second finger on the fifth fret. All right, so you got. Add a little sauce on there at the end. Now you're gonna go up to little C minor pentatonic. So it's gonna go. Two bends on the 11th fret. The first lick goes. So you're gonna go eight, eight, so E, B, and then, and then go to the flat five. Then it's gonna do this lick twice. All right, so you got. And then, okay, so you got. And then it's gonna go from the 11th fret and chromatically walk down. So you got it. Now you're gonna bend up the seventh fret just a little bit. Okay, so what you do is you bend it up like a half step, and then you pull off to the fifth fret. And then you go down for a super low dive. And then he does that. Right, like a little slide. There's so much. If you can on YouTube go in and type Little Dreamer isolated track, and you can hear just the guitar by itself. And there's all of there's a lot of Van Halen songs on there that are isolated tracks. And there's so much stuff you don't necessarily pick up in the mix of a song, but so much nuanced stuff. If you're an Eddie fan, like you have to check out the isolated tracks because there's so much more like sauce going on with his playing. It's just ridiculous, like all the tracks. And then if you can find, there's a few they released. I think there's like six or seven of them where it's the actual raw track. There's actually no reverb on it too. And that actually, if you're, if you're trying to cop the Van Halen tone, that's a really good uh, thing to be able to hear because a lot of the Van Halen um, tone is the interaction between the amp and that plate reverb. And keep in mind, like if you watch the Sunset Sound sessions that where they talk about Van Halen, they heavily modified his tone with EQ and compression. So his original tone is not what you hear on the album. They really tweaked it. And the lady talks about just how much they tweak the tone to get it to sit right. But a lot of it is that interaction between the plate reverb and his distortion that makes a lot of that really cool sound, right? So you got... Okay, so... And then you want to slide up to the 12th fret. So it's... Twelve, eleven, thirteen on the B. So twelve on the G, and you go straight into a full step bend, and then the little tweak is going up to a step and a half down, back up, down, back up with some vibrato at the end. So. It's And then do the vibrato on the full bend. Drop back down to the pentatonic. 
Okay, so. So up until that point, let's do. And then, now this lick is super freaking cool. So you're gonna go eight, nine, 10, or 12, no. <laughs> Let's try that again. Eight, nine, 11. Right, so it's. And then up to the B string, 11th fret. Okay, so you do that pattern. So, and then, and then one more time, and on the third time you do that. Okay, so. And then you do that same pattern on the next string. And then, so many cool little chromatic licks in here. So it's. And then it goes. So you do one of those slides. And then. So that's going to be that same kind of lick we did here. But it's. I would go, let's see, 14, 13, 15, and bend it up really slow. And then, same thing, you go up to the 17th fret. So that's going to be 17, and then on the B string, you're going to go uh, 16, 18. With your pinky, come and grab the 18th on the B. So it's go down a half step. I think that's it. So it would be up a whole step, and then go down. Up a whole step, and then something like that. Sounds horrible when you do it slow. Dogs and cats with that. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple more licks. Um, there is their their verse licks. So it's. Um, my favorite lick ever. So. <laughs> it's so good. So you got um, G string, you go three, five, and pull off to three. And then you go to the seventh fret of the D. Okay, so. Then you're going to go with your third finger, fifth fret, go to D and A. Then you're going to drop down to the D string and go three to two. So you got. And then go. So that's three on the A, two on the D, and then uh, open A. So O, three, five. So. Okay. 
And then get this, this one's like not muted. And then is muted, right? Such a good one. And then there's basically the higher version. Okay, so that one happens a little later in the song. Same kind of thing, but it's on the B string. So you're gonna go eight, nine, eight. And then you go 10 to eight. All right? Okay, so. All right, one more time. And then you go, roll your finger over, and go eight, 10, nine, and then D string. Whole step bend. And then some bar. All right, so. And then. There's another lick in there that I, I don't know what it is at the very end. It's some sort of like higher lick and I don't know. That's your homework, you can figure that out. So, super, like spend a lot of time. So, I've done a couple of things. Um, I don't know if you can see it on this computer, but um, it, went to sleep but there's a program called AnyTune, and so that's a great program to get to slow down music there's another one i just got um i forget what it's called i'll uh, i'll see if i can leave it in the links below but there's a lot of really great software programs now where you can drop a track in and it'll separate the instruments for you so luckily on on youtube there's a lot of isolated tracks of van halen already there's a channel called isolated tracks which is freaking ridiculous it has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of isolated guitar tracks uh, bass drums vocal tracks it's like the whole band separated out right and tons and tons of iconic songs there's metal classic rock all sorts of stuff but there's a lot of van halen on there and then what i do is i go into a program called 4k downloader it lets you download the actual thing from YouTube or from Chrome, I believe. You can download the actual video from YouTube anyways. But 4K Downloader separates the audio from the track, and then I drop it into that AnyTune, and you can slow it down, you can loop stuff, so you can really get the nuances of all the songs. And that's how I figure out everything in conjunction with trying to watch the people if there's any footage of them playing it live. But those are some tips on how to learn some of these tunes. And if you want to be able to take it slow, because this Van Halen stuff happens so fast. Um, and until you slow it down, you almost don't realize how much cooler it is because there's so much more nuance in there. But anyways, thank you so much for the continued support. Again, I'll leave the affiliate links if you want to get the tone or buy any of the gear. That definitely helps out the channel. The companies love hearing that people like the gear too. So if you like the, what I'm doing, check out those affiliate links. If you want to learn how to play guitar better, make sure you check out brettpapa.com. There's I have like a thousand plus videos on there. I also have teachers like uh, Corey Congilio, Jeff Mackerlang, Kirk Fletcher. We're going to have Tom Bukovac. We're going to have Guthrie Trapp, Andy Timmons, Ariel Posen, um, Jack Roosh. Oh my God, the Jack Roosh courses are freaking amazing. There's All of them are great. So check that out. That funds everything you see here and brings in all the guests that you see as well. Thank you for your continued support. Don't forget to check out the free soloing course down in the description box as well. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the continued support. We'll catch you next time.